Yo! What's going on, guys? It's time for another reaction video. I let uh, um, Kevin take the lead on this one because he's been here before, right? It's not his first time reacting with Second me. Time. And uh, he's also been on my podcast previously. So a little bit of background on Kevin real quick. He is in a band called uh, Gather the Corners. Um, Kevin, you want to talk about that real quickly? or? Yeah, Gather the Corners. We are a two-piece band. I play a double neck, six string guitar, four string bass. Uh, and then there's a drummer. Sometimes I sing. Um, we're from Houston, Texas. We are going on tour. This is a little quick Texas run playing down in Alamo, Texas, which is nowhere near San Antonio. <laughs> uh, it's in uh, South Rio Grande Valley, then San Antonio and Austin. So if you guys want to check out Kevin's music, I will be putting his links in the description. I think you mentioned you're on Spotify, Apple, and uh, was it Big Camp? Bandcamp. Band Bandcamp. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> All the you... music listening to places. Yeah. Yeah. So if you guys want to check that out from Kevin, uh, those links will be in the description. So as usual, I haven't told Kevin too, too much about Ren. I did mention to him that it is a... Uh, uh, recorded live and it was done in just a handful of takes. I think they chose take three out of number four. Um, so yeah, so you know the drill, pause as often as needed. Do ask that if you do pause, hit that left arrow once so it goes back five seconds before we re re hit play again. Sounds good. Sounds All right, nice. let's get into it. One half of Ren and Stippy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is creepy. Taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself since my therapist told me I'm ill. And I've been making some progress lately. And I've learned some new coping skills. So I haven't really needed you much, man. I think we need to just step back and chill. Ren, you sound more insane than I do. You think that those doctors are really there to guide you? Been through this a million times. Your civilian mind is so perfect to always be in lie to. Okay, take another pill, boy. Drown yourself in the sound of white noise. Follow this 10 step program, rejoice. All your problems will be gone. Fucking dumb boy. Nah, mate. This time is different, man. Trust me. I feel like things might be falling in place. And my music's been kind of doing bits too. Like I actually might do something great And when I'm gone, maybe I'll be remembered For doing something special with myself That's why I don't think that we should talk, man Cause when you're with me, it never seems to help You think that you can amputate me? I am you, you are me, you are I, I am we We are one, split in two, that makes one, so you see You gotta kill you if you wanna kill me I'm not left over dinner, I'm not scraps on the side Oh, your music is thriving, delusional guy Where's your top ten hit? Where's your interview with Oprah? Where are your Grammys, Ren? Nowhere. Yeah, but my music's not commercial like that I never chase numbers, statistics or stats I never write hooks for the radio They never even play me So why would I concern myself with that? But my music is really connecting And the people who find it respect it And for me that's enough Cause this life's been tough So it gives me a purpose I can rest in Man, you sound so pretentious Ran, your music is so self-centered No one wants to hear another song About how much you hate yourself Trust me you should be so lucky Having me inside you to guide you, remind you To manage expectations, provide you perspective That thing you neglected, I get it You wanna be a big deal, next Jimi Hendrix, forget it 
Man, it's not like that. Man, it's just like that. I'm inside you, you twat. No, it's not, man. You're wrong. When I write, I belong. Let me break the fourth wall by acknowledging this song. Ren sits down, has a stroke of genius. He wants to write a song that was not done previous. A battle with the subconscious. Eminem did it. Played on guitar. Plan B did it. Man, you're not original. You criminal rip off artist. The pinnacle of your success is stealing other people's material. Ren, mate, we've heard it all before. Oh, she sells seashells on the seashore. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't need you. I don't need to hear this. Cause I'm fine by myself. I'm a genius. And I will be great And I will make waves And I'll shake up the whole world beneath us That's right, speak your truth Your fucking god complex leaks out of you It's refreshing to ask for you Say it instead of downplay it uh, music is all about the creative process And if people can find something to relate to within that Then that's just a bonus Fuck you, I'ma fucking kill you, Ren Well, fucking kill me then, let's fucking have you, Ren I'ma do it, watch me prove it Who are you to doubt my music? Cause I call the shots, I choose if you die Yeah, I call the shots and so I choose who survives I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside Newsflash, I was created at the dawn of creation. I am temptation. I am the snake in Eden. I am the reason for treason. Beheading all kings, I am sin, with no rhyme or reason. Son of the morning, Lucifer, Antichrist, father of lies. Mistopheles, truth in the blender, deceitful pretender, the banished avenger, the righteous surrender. When standing in front of my solar eclipse, my name is stitched to your lips. So you see, I won't bow to the will of a mortal. Feeble and normal, you wanna kill me? I'm eternal and mortal. I live in every decision that catalyzes chaos that causes division. I live inside death, the beginning of end. I am you, you are me, I am you, friend. Hi, Ren. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself and I've spent half my life ill But just as sure as the tide starts turning Just as sure as the night has dawn Just as sure as the rain falls soon runs dry when you stand in an eye of a storm I was made to be tested and twisted I was made to be broken and beat I was made by his hand, it's all part of his plan that I stand on my own two feet And you know me, my will is eternal And you know me, you've met me before Face to face with a beast, I will rise from the east and I'll settle on the ocean floor. And I go by many names also. Some people know me as hope. Some people know me as the voice that you hear when you loosen the noose on the rope. And you know how I know that I'll prosper? Cause I stand here beside you today. I have stood in the flames that cremated my brain and I didn't once flinch or shake. So cower at the man I've become when I sing from the top of my lungs. That I won't retire, I'll stand in your fire Inspire that me to be strong And when I am gone I will rise In the music that I left behind Ferocious, persistent, immortal like you We're a coin to different sides When I was 17 years old, I shouted out into an empty room, into a blank canvas that I would defeat the forces of evil. And for the next 10 years of my life, I suffered the consequences with autoimmunity, illness, and psychosis. As I got older, I realized there were no real winners and there were no real losers in psychological warfare, but there were victims and there were students it wasn't David versus Goliath. It was a pendulum, eternally swaying from the dark to the light. And the more intensely that the light shone, the darker the shadow it cast. 
It was never really a battle for me to win. It was an eternal dance. And like a dance, the more rigid I became, the harder it got. The more I cursed my clumsy footsteps, the more I struggled. So I got older and I learned to relax. And I learned to soften and that dance got easier. It is this eternal dance that separates human beings from angels, from demons, from gods. And I must not forget, we must not forget that we are human beings. That was deep. That was very deep. Um, I did not pause it once because... You just wanted the full experience? I, I, it was just, yeah, I, it kind of just kept... Uh, You're the first person holding I've had that hasn't stopped it, which I thought was kind of interesting. I felt it would, it would almost be rude to stop it because... You don't want to interrupt it? <laughs> yeah, I mean... I'm just the kind of person when I'm watching something, I uh, I know this is probably a very unwatchable video. I'm like, why isn't he saying anything? <laughs> but I mean, that was just really enter extremely entertaining. That was, I mean, a journey that was like on par in some type of way with uh, like Bohemian Rhapsody or something. Okay, like so that. I've, I've said that before, yeah. right? And and like, um. And I, it's that I don't compare the two in sense of like stylistic wise, but they're both Definitely. very long songs. Yeah. And at the time that Bohemian Rhapsody came out, it was like, what in the world is this? And it was like rock opera for the first mm -hmm. time. And uh, and it was a very long story. Right. Uh, if you really start digging in and paying attention to the lyrics in Bohemian mm -hmm. Rhapsody. Right. So um, this is runs some parallels to that to some extent. Yeah. I mean, it. Uh, I feel like. Okay, so first of all, the, the, using the multiple cameras, um, it really did project that image of like, um, um, of like uh, the angel and demon on one's shoulder. Yeah. But I know it wasn't really that. It was kind of more him talk, himself talking, I guess his id to his superego or whatever. Exactly. Uh, it's been a long time since I took psychology. or, uh, um, But <clears throat> yeah, that was incredible. Um, I feel like he really touches on kind of like what goes in the mind of, uh, like musicians and like pr pretty much like maybe all, you know all creatives not even creatives but everybody uh I guess a little bit about um like imposter syndrome and stuff like that it's uh questioning yeah, it's, yourself and your authenticity and... yeah exactly um which is just a like you know overall I think a healthy thing to have um I mean yeah, because if you constantly think you're better than you are, yeah, you exactly. might be sell, you, you, you're lying to yourself. Yeah. But you might sell yourself short. But then, if you're not confident enough, then you might not get the opportunities or get to do some of the things you sure. should really do. You know, so you have to have that battle with yourself. So I'll give you a little bit of background on Rim. Um, as far as I can track back on YouTube between the different bands and everything he's been associated with, he goes back about twelve to fifteen years of creating music on YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, some of his music's been more successful than others. Uh, some of the band, like the Big Push, which is one we'll be getting to shortly, they've had a lot of success and they have a really good following. Um, but I think this song in particular um, has put him on the map more than any others. And by that, I mean like internationally, because he already had a pretty strong following in the UK. Mm -hmm. uh, but but this song in particular is kind of what blew him up. Um, He's got around 15 or 16 million views on this at this point, and it's been out for about six months, whereas most of the other music's uh, probably under 10,000 views on a lot of it, and some of them might be, you know, 100,000, things like that, right? So um, this one's blowing up. It's not just blowing up uh, on their own channel, but even across reaction channels, lots of people are reacting to this, which is putting more and more people in front of Ren and, and more and more people seeing him. So that's one part of it. But I think, like you said, that it's not just limited to creators. I think at some point, anybody who's doing anything in their lives have that doubt of like, of, of that, that battle in their mind, you know? Some of this song touches on uh, aspects of like mental health. And I think that's another thing that connects with a lot of people. But his background in particular is that he was uh, ill at a very young age. Yeah, I heard him say he, he must have, well, he was mis some type of auto. I mean, yeah. So what happened is it, early on, he got misdiagnosed. Oh, and in those misdiagnoses, he was probably being mis 
prescribed uh, medications, which messed with his psychosis. And eventually got to the point where he was properly diagnosed. And it turns out that he has Lyme disease. And so um, this song, along with the handful of the other videos that have been coming out recently, that I, and I just learned this recently, is that a lot of them were pre-recorded while he went to Canada and he's been getting treatment for the uh, after effects of his Lyme disease. Um, but he's still been releasing these tracks uh, every couple of weeks, a month, whatever. There's new songs coming out. Um, and I, I think his treatment may, may be coming to an end or be wrapping up in Canada uh, or he's taking intermittent breaks and he's coming back because he's working on some new uh, videos right now that are supposed to be pretty big and some of his most uh, um, uh, biggest ideas, I guess, per se, yet. So um, in regards to the guitar... I've had a lot of different things told to me in the comments. So a lot of the information I'm sharing with you is what I gather from the comments because people uh, uh, comment quite a bit and that's what helps me to learn more and more about Ren. He, uh, I've, I've been told that his parents were both music teachers. So he grew up in a musical household. Um, and then some people said he went to Bath Uni, which I guess is like a music college. Yeah, but then other people said that he didn't... Way southwesting, like... England. Yeah, I don't know much about it, but uh, apparently he may not have finished it. I don't know. But he himself has said that his guitar, um, that some of the fine tuning of his skills of getting better, he learned by watching YouTube videos. I imagine, yeah. So, um, so yeah, he's just a super musically inclined individual. Uh, the song goes deeper than just the uh, inner dialect. It's also about his music. It's also about his diagnosis and a lot of other things. But I yeah, think that was some... the message connects on a lot of levels. Does he have like people. a lot of songs like basically yeah. that are just kind of like this style, like very the, near 10 minutes long? And uh... They're not all this deep. Um, the one we're going to do after this one is called Sick Boy, and it's kind of the follow-up to this track. Okay, oh, man. And then I think after that one, we have one from The Big Push. So his music with The Big Push, sometimes it's a mix of cover songs, and sometimes it's originals, mm -hmm. right? Um but that's kind of why I want to take you down the Ren rabbit hole because he's very versatile, right? And you're going to learn that as we start going through some of these tracks, um, that they're not all performance type pieces like this, but he does have a handful of them. Mm, okay. So you ready for it? I'm ready for it. Let's do this. All right. So, hey, you guys watching, you kind of know the drill now. If you're, if you're watching my channel for a while, this is going to be the first of many. Um, I don't know how many we'll get through today. It just depends on how much time Kevin can stick around and film today. But we're going to uh, journey down the Ren rabbit hole. So following this video, if you're watching this right as it released, um, shortly thereafter or right at the end of this one, another one should be popping up for you to watch. And we're going to continue down that way until uh, till Kevin has to leave today. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see you guys in the next video. Later. Like and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the bell icon.